What's good, YouTube? Ryan Babs here, back with another video. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Here on this channel, we talk about personal finance, investing, men's lifestyle, fitness with the occasional vlog here or there. So if any of those sound interesting to you, just be sure to hit the subscribe button. So before we hop into the, uh, what month are we in? September dividend income, I wanna talk about something I did this morning. So I got paid from my other job, not my main job, my other job. Um, and I decided to, uh, I saw JJ Buckner's video on his option strategy. And so I was like, you know what? So I put, so I ended up buying 100 shares of energy transfer, placed the cover call option, and I'm only getting $2 a premium for it. So I'm like, oh, great. This is a waste of time. Um, good news is so now that's like 14 percent of my portfolio good news is that if it hits if the dividend then doesn't get cut um that dividend check is going to be lovely and um that's all i gotta say about that but and then if not then we're just we'll just sell out of it and put it somewhere else or do something else with the money but anyways guys let's just go ahead and hop right into the dividends that we received for september um, it's not as crazy as June like I thought it was going to be, but it's getting better, slowly. So the first one we received is from Johnson & Johnson. They paid me a dollar and two, a dollar and two cents for 1.005842 shares. Next one is ExxonMobil. They paid me a dollar 75 for 2.006441 shares. Now that stock is no longer in my portfolio. I sold it off. So uh, we won't be seeing that in for a while. I might come back in. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And the next one we received was RTX. They paid me 48 cents for 1.005655 shares. The next one is one I mentioned in my last video. Um, IBM, they paid me $1.64 for 1.007172 shares. Love IBM, like I said in my last video, per, on a per share basis, this is my highest paying dividend right here. But as far as my, if that energy transfer dividend ends up hitting, that'll be by far my highest dividend paying stock, by far. Um, next one is Microsoft. They paid me 51 cents for 1.003498 shares. And then after that, I received a dividend payment of 50 cents from Lumen Technologies, which was CenturyLink, but they rebranded, changed the name, and they paid me for two shares. On the 14th, I received $1.48 from 3M. This is my second highest paying um, dividend paying stock per share. And I, I got paid for 1.004057 shares. Next one is everybody's favorite monthly player, Realty Income. They paid me $1.13 for 4.820959 shares. Next one is McDonald's. They paid me $1.26, which I believe is my third highest paying dividend per on a per share basis. And they uh, paid me $1.26 for 1.009018 shares. Next one is Kellogg. I sold them out the port. I sold them out. They paid me 57 cents for 1.001022 shares. And then we have two left. Um, that is going to be waste management. They paid me 55 cents for 1.09448 shares. And then today on the 30th, we're receiving we're receiving one from Pepsi for a dollar and two for 1.02333 shares. For so my total for this month is eleven dollars and ninety-two cents. My total for the year is forty-seven dollars and seventy-six cents. We are halfway through the, my first year of dividend investing, and uh, we're almost at like I said, one hundred dollars to be. That's going to be my goal, and we are halfway there. I think we're going to get it though. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed. Hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments below who paid you guys, what your favorite dividend paying stocks are. I know this is a lot of people's biggest month, but just let me know down in below who paid you this month, what you got paid, uh, what's your favorite one that paid this month, you know, just things like that. 
Um, anyway, but all my socials are down below. If you have any questions, just hit me up. And I will see you guys in the next one.